Now I know a lot of people are actually excited about Dragon Quest VIII. It has a very big following, so let's just get right into it, shall we? Uh, create a new adventure log. Who should we be? Is there any specific Dragon Quest character that should be the main character? Dragon? Should it be Dragon? Should it be something else? Let me know who you want me to actually name him as. It could be Dargan. Close enough to Dragon. Oh yeah, I actually have already switched it out to Dragon Quest VIII. We got a berry, we got a kitten. We got a goom. Okay, here's one we might maybe all agree on. Sora. Terra. Yeah, I don't really know all that much about Dragon Quest, so there might be some more characters that are actually more well-known. Not entirely sure. We go for Tigger. Terra. Ah, Terra Blade in the chat. <laughs> Just normal Zack. Just go by me. I guess we could do that. I was kind of hoping for a more creative name than that, but maybe my name's the best we've got. Youngus. You know what? Eight might be a good name. Because I remember someone in the chat mentioned that there was a character named Eight. And we're going to do it special, too. Hero? You know what? Hero works. We're gonna go for hero. All caps. Cause he is the hero of the game. He wants you to know it. Hero it is. Eight is his real name. Oh, okay. I kinda like the idea of hero. Volvic. Isn't that the, like, British water? Or, uh, Scottish water? Oh, it's a punk rat. He's in a biker gang. It's gonna get dark if we hang about here much longer. Let's head into town. There's better places than this to spend an evening. So that's why you wanted me to name him Youngest, because there was already a character with that name. 
Oh, they're actually letting me control from this early on? This is an RPG, though. They never let this happen. Normally in RPGs, you're introduced with about 30 minutes of cutscenes before you're allowed to do anything. So L2 for shift camera behind. Rotate, rotate. First person for R an RPG with a first person view? That's interesting. Cancel, open menu. Action, map. Okay, it should be simple enough. So action pretty much does everything. Now I've actually never played Shadow Hearts. I have, however, played a little bit of this game. I played it back in 2004. I think I got to the... No. Um, I don't like the fact that the controls are reversed. How do we change that? Settings? Stop saying that is inverted. That is normal. Left is supposed to go left. Right is right. There, much better. Although up and down is kind of screwy too. It's blind to a to a degree in the fact that I've played maybe an hour of the game. That's about it. I played it up until I think the uh, first city. I've probably said it before, but it beats me how you ended up working for an old codger like him. Not that I can talk, though, eh? Guess people say the same thing about me. Working for you. So I work for the Ewok. Hey. Well, I'm not really an Ewok. Roger, I do hope you're not referring to me. This is a me. frog. What would you Yoda? Know? A low life like you wouldn't recognize the ability if it came up and bit you on the arm. Well, for Jack and Dexter, I actually played through that the entire way through, and this I've only played about an hour. Enough dilly dallying. Where's the princess? I can't see her anywhere. She was in one of those barrels I threw. The Dragon Quest slimes. Of course, they're going to be the first enemies. Intimidate? Sure, why not? Let's scare them off. They're pretty low level. Really? Now, for being low leveled, I would think they'd be the first ones to be intimidated. Dead and dead. What ability? So we don't have any abilities yet. Spells? No. I guess just normal attacks. Medicinal herb. We got some weed. He's already green. Uh, they certainly took us by surprise. Now, where's the princess? Where's my Medea? My precious one and only daughter. Wait, that's his daughter? Yeah. I don't know if we want to meet her. Of course, his princess daughter is a horse. That all makes sense. Might have been some inbreeding going on there. I say we make a move now, before it. So this is more like an RPG. We did a little battle, now we're gonna have about 20 minutes of cutscenes, right? Is that how this works?
Who isn't talking? Is there something wrong with my mic? Oh, I'm just allowing you guys to enjoy the cutscenes, really. Just in case they tend to talk during the cutscene, I don't want to interrupt it. I shall try to do it justice then. Oh, hero. Okay. Well, it's also an RPG. Main characters in RPGs very rarely talk. The silent protagonist trope. Yeah, I mentioned this earlier, but I kind of want to get into Dark Souls one day. Yes. Yes. Here we are. If my memory serves me correctly, this is the place. This is the town where Master Rylus lives. Hold your horses, Granddad. I thought it was Dolmagus we was after. I am not your Granddad. And of course, Dool Magus is our man. He's the one who turned Medea and I into such laughing stocks. But that dastardly magician can't hide from us forever. We must track him down and lift this confounded curse. Oh, just look at my. He was a real Medea. frog before this, wasn't he? And we'd only just settled on her engagement to the Prince of Argonia. Oh, that despicable Dulmagus. Yeah, I've actually heard about uh, Hyperdimension Neptunia. That's why it's imperative we locate Rylus. This is not the game that's supposed to be like him. Uh, PlayStation, Xbox, Sega, and all of them. That's the spirit. I knew I could rely on you. I'll be waiting here. I need to change the dialogue to auto progress. Oh, what happens if I would have said no? Whoops, no, that needs to be maxed. Isn't there a way to change it so the dialogue auto progresses? I guess not. Oh well. Hmm. Just wanted to see. Welcome back, Kit. You weren't thinking of going without me, I hope. I'm the best no, you're my right hand man. Looking for people, it's my piece of resistance, as they say. Now, as you can see, I'm I'm a ghost. I mean, I'm see through already. Oh, my green's actually showing up right now. Earlier was completely transparent. You're eating a burger. So saving a church. If we can find a church. Don't really know this area. It's an interesting map. Okay. It looks like a theme park the way they have that designed. Up the stairs to the right. If I'm in the right spot. These stairs? It's not kitty food. Cute. This is the church, right? Yeah. Might actually be something in here. Maybe we'll find the guy we're looking for.
Where do I confess? I sh I, you know what? I should have come here. He's going to tell me exactly where I'm looking for. Free stuff. A pot lid. Kind of looked like a shield. We're just stealing everyone's stuff. That's Adventuring 101. Wait, this isn't how you save. I'm sure of it. All they did was tell me to come to the church. They didn't exactly tell me who I needed to talk to at the church. Wait, I'm actually in the church right now. I'm just trying to figure out where the save point is. Is it her? Oh, there it is. Oh man, after playing, uh, what was I playing a few minutes ago? The very fast save time, Dust. This is so slow. Now you had other stuff I could do too. Divination, Resurrection, I don't have anyone dead yet, Perfication, and Benediction. I think we're good. <laughs> we're still looking for someone, though. Probably in the barracks, if I had to hazard a guess. Which would be here. I mean, maybe we can get some weapons. No, this is just a shop. And I can't buy anything. Well, I could buy a stick. I'll buy one stick, please. No, no, I said no. Isn't cancel... Okay, apparently in this game, circle, which is normally the cancel button and everything else, is not cancel. Instead, it's triangle. So we tried the barracks, we tried the church. Just go in someone's random house. The bar. And we went in an old lady's house. She might have a bar. You never know. Oops. I'm kind of used to select being the button for... Maps. Oh, she was right next door to the bar. Here it is. No, I never heard of the game Gift. Weren't you just at the barracks? A dime a dozen. Okay, so who's the most unique looking guy here? The guy with the mullet. Haven't you had enough, Mr. Calderasha, sir? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've got a business to run. This, uh, haphazard fortune-telling of yours is costing me a fortune in free drinks. What? My fortune-telling? Haphazard? Are you a complete fool? It's a skinny version of Satan from Dragon Ball Z. Let me tell you something for free. All fortune-telling 
is haphazard. Anyway, so what if I saw it? So what if I foretold the fire? If I tried to stop it, then what? It would only have led to another disaster. That's what. I'm sorry, Mr. Calderasher, sir. If you're saying you knew about the fire, shouldn't you at least have warned Master Rylus? Yes, poor Rylus. How many times I argued with the old man. I... Well, you know, all that fighting, he kind of has to lose weight. Gotta make weight. Actually, in one of the Dragon Ball Z movies, wasn't he skinny? What is it? I think it was like the latest one about the Saiyan God. You come show your face to the great Calderasha. Yes, yes. Quick, quick! Everyone, come quick! There's a monster in town! Cool. Okay, it makes sense if you're talking to the guy in the giant, like, bull mask, but everyone else doesn't really need to know. Get the big burly guy to fight him. Just come and see! The whole town's gone There's crazy. a monster out there! Hide the women and children! Get the people who are ready to fight! Not the old man, not the bunny girl. And certainly not the drunkard. I think I might be fine with this game. Wait, you won't even you won't let me go down? Why not? I want to fight the monster. I'm used to fighting. I've already I've dude, I have fought like three slimes. I can totally handle any monster you have. Really, they're not gonna let there's gotta be another way down. I mean, if you won't let me do it. How else do I get down there? Ah, here's some stairs. I'll just go the long way. Can't tell me what to do. Kitty! Meow! Meow! Run, kitty! Shoo! Shoo! There's a monster coming! Get away! Get away! Don't want you hurt. I like his accent. This ain't good, Gav. It's kind of like a cockney. Look lively. Oh, that monster. Ugh, he looked at me. I'll fight him too. I'm not picky. Get out! Get out, monster! You're not welcome here. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, about this is as far as I got during my original playthrough back in 2004. Not very far at all. Well, that was a fine reception. Don't they realize who I am? A frog. Hmm. Judging a book by its cover, don't they know it's what's inside that counts? Yeah, you can say that. Frog guts. So then, did you manage to find Master Rylus? Sure. What? He's dead? Oh, well, technically no, I didn't no, find no. him. I always say yes. Well, uh, 
I suppose there's no point crying over spilt milk. It's Dulmagus we're after. He's the one who cursed the princess and I, after all. He's the one who made us look so ridiculous. I I'm still under the theory that you were not that attractive to before. Help us locate him. But it seems we'll just have to track Dulmagus down by ourselves. With Rylas gone, we have nothing further to gain from staying here. Let's be on our way. Wait. We have no real destination, though. Please wait. I'm sorry to come running after you like this. It's just that I wanted to ask you a favor. At least she's not afraid of the frogman. Are you not afraid of me, young lady? I dreamt about you. Whoa. I dreamt that some people came to town with a strange creature. It was sort of halfway between a human and a I don't a know monster. if he's halfway. He's more full-on monster. And I dreamt that they could make wishes come true. Yeah, kiss him on the lips. A strange creature? Are you referring to Oh, turn into Prince Charming. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Try harder next time. <laughs> Not to worry. I've had worse things said to me today. You know, you remind me of my Medea. You're about the same age. No, I never actually played Tales of Zillia. The only Tales game I've actually ever played is Tales of Symphonia, and that was on GameCube. Uh, you say you had a dream about me. Most peculiar. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't so as much of a dream as it was a nightmare. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Valentina, daughter of the great fortune teller Caldarasha. If you could just come to my house, I'll explain everything there. It's by the well at the far end of town. I'll be waiting so for So she you. tells us that she's been dreaming of us and that she wants us to come into her house. Not buying it. What was she rubbing in on about? Come round my house, she says. All right, see you in a little bit, Goom. Magnificent! She wasn't afraid to look at me at all, not one bit. Oh, she reminds me of my Medea. We must give this young girl a helping hand. Right then, my boy. Go and find the house by the well, and hmm, me. I'll wait here with the princess. We don't want to cause any more of us to... Yep, completely blind. 